Commander of the Parade of Colors, host the colors. Six freedom torches now being presented by representatives of the following nations, Belgium, France, Great Britain, Israel, Italy, and Mexico. This portion of these ceremonies pays tribute to all veterans here and abroad and emphasizes the desire for peace shared by the peoples of the world and the dedication of free nations to that goal. Chairman of the Veterans Day National Committee, the Honorable John S. Gleason, Jr., the Administrator of Veterans Affairs, Mr. Administrator. Mr. President, my fellow Americans. Throughout our nation and in cemeteries where fighting men are buried throughout the entire world, the living are joining together today to pay their homage to those who turned back the tides that would have destroyed freedom. But we must remember that Veterans Day is not solely a day to honor sacrifices made by our honored dead in past wars. For it is also a day to honor the living men who fought for freedom and who joined together in working for a more prosperous America and a more peaceful world. David M. Shoup, the American, and my friend, General Shoup. Mr. President, Americans and friends of Americans, these hallowed graves in this national cemetery are but mute and constant reminders that there are countless American graves throughout the world, on land and beneath the seas. All are symbolized here by the Tomb of the Unknowns. Our Commander-in-Chief has just placed a wreath at this tomb. By this act, he has expressed for all Americans, past and present, their deep gratitude to those who have made great sacrifices so that we can be here today physically and mentally free.
Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise while the president leaves? For many, this is the first time they see President Kennedy in person. For most, it is the last time. Would you be seated, please? Dismiss us now, O Lord, with thy blessings, and accompany us ever with thy grace. Grant that what hath been said with our lips we may believe in our hearts, and that which we believe in our hearts we may practice in our lives to thine everlasting glory. Amen.